Hi, today you are sewing and quilting with Pete and Cody. Um, so today we're talking about Bernina's crown jewel, as I could call it. It's the Bernina Stitch Regulator, also known as the BSR. So many of the machines come with the Bernina Stitch Regulator, um, but not all. But all of the current model machines, with the exception of the 215 and the smaller 3 Series, they all can use them. Um, so what this is, it's a computerized foot. It's Bernina is the only sewing machine company that has a single foot that is a stitch regulator. So we're the only ones who have uh, stitch regulating capability with the single foot because we have the patent for it. So what you have is you have this nice little tin and you want to keep the tin and keep the styrofoam. So what you get is you get this is your Bernina stitch regulator. Simple little guy, and he'll plug into the back, which I'll show you. He comes with three different soles, so essentially three different feet. You have a closed toe sole, you have the open toe, which is what's currently on there, and then you have the echo quilting sole. This is my preferred one to use, kind of like because you can see everything, and it has little beveled edges so it won't get caught on anything. So while we still have the foot off, we can look at, we can see the foot, and it's got this little lens down here. So this is where the little camera is. The camera is constantly looking at our fabric when we have it on, and so it detects the movement of the fabric, and that's how it knows how fast uh, to have the machine stitch, depending on how fast we're moving the fabric. But we'll get into that more in a bit. So what we want to do is we want to change from this open toe to this echo quilting clear uh, toe foot. So it's super easy. If you can look, you've got two little buttons on the side. So you just squeeze those two little buttons and this will slide right off and it can be stored in here. And then to attach this guy on, they all attach and detach the same way. So this will just slide and snap in. Couldn't be easier. So now we're going to do this foot attached just like any other Bernina presser foot. Um, you know, none of our Bernina machines do we require any screws or any extra tools to take on or off any of the feet. So this will attach onto the cone just like that. And this little guy looks just like your um, headset. And there's a little hole in the back with a little picture of the BSR in the back of the machine. And this will just plug right back there. And you can kind of feel, you really don't even have to um, look and see and it recognizes the foot right away and it's telling us we need to lower our feed dogs in order to use the stitch regulator there's a little video on the screen so I'll follow the prompt push the feed dogs in and now we're on the stitch regulator screen so here uh, you'll see that we've got two different modes and two different stitches that we can use everything else over here it's all grayed out because we can't do decorative stitches. We can't do anything like that while using the stitch regulator because all that's controlled by the feed dogs and we're disengaged the feed dogs. And when we're doing free motion quilting, most of the time we're only using a straight stitch. We're not even using the zigzag. The zigzag is great to give you some textured edges. So what we have here is we have one and two. This stands for the two different types of modes on the stitch regulator. So BSR mode one, which is my preferred mode, um, but I've been doing it for, for a while. Um, this mode, the way it works is when we start moving the fabric, it starts to stitch. When we pause, it does not stop. It keeps stitching very slowly, but continues to stitch. And what's different with BSR mode two is once we start stitching, it regulates the stitches. Um, but when we pause, so when we stop moving the fabric and the stitch regulator is still on, it will pause. So we've got two different ways to start and stop the stitch regulator. You can use the green button, your start stop button. This will turn on and turn off your stitch regulator or you can use your foot pedal. The foot pedal is what I prefer to use because when, regardless of what mode I'm on, um, whenever I want to stop quilting, whenever I want to stop stitching, I can stop moving the fabric, let off completely of my foot pedal, and it stop, turns off the BSR and drops my needle because that's what I have it set to is to drop the needle. So that's why I like BSR mode one because I feel like I have more control so I can stop whenever I want to stop because I'm using the foot pedal opposed to the push start button. So I'll give you a little demo with each mode to show you how they work. 
So with any quilting technique, before we start, we always want to bring up our bobbin thread. So to do this, you've got a number of different methods. Uh, one of the most accurate ones would be to use our needle up, needle down button. You can use it on the machine or you can use it on the foot pedal. So we'll click it, it'll drop the needle, and then you click it again and it'll bring the needle up along with our bobbin thread. So here we want to use our foot up and down to bring our foot up and then we can reach underneath and grab our bobbin thread. So now, because I'm on BSR mode 1 and I use my foot pedal, we'll be able to, if I had it plugged in, so let's plug in the foot pedal. There we go. So whenever we tap on the foot pedal, it will drop our foot on the burning of 770. So now whenever I hold down the foot pedal, it just requires a little bit of pressure, you don't push down all the way, you see a red light illuminate underneath the BSR, and that means it's on. So when we push down, you'll see. So whenever we start stitching, you see the faster I move it, the faster it stitches. The slower I move it, the slower it stitches. As soon as I lay off the foot pedal, it stops and drops the needle. That's what I love about using the foot pedal with BSR Mode 1. Now, we can do the same thing with BSR Mode 2. But let me show you one thing with BSR Mode 1 before I forget. And so once we start, and we're stitching, and whenever we stop, it continues to stitch. So that's what's the difference between BSR Mode 1 and BSR Mode 2. So if I come to BSR Mode 2, and I start her up, and still, when, the faster I move the fabric, the faster the machine stitches. But whenever I stop, it stops. But it stops with the needle up. And I, when I lay off my foot pedal, you'll see the needle drops. So that is really the only difference between BSR Mode 1 and BSR Mode 2. BSR Mode 1 does not stop stitching when you stop moving the fabric. And BSR Mode 2 does stop stitching when you stop moving the fabric. But they all stop and they'll stop with the needle down, if you tell it, whenever you either turn it off or let off completely of the foot pedal. But one side note is your foot pedal does not regulate the speed. The machine regulates the speed. And you regulate the speed by moving the fabric. So it doesn't matter how little or how much pressure you apply on your foot pedal, it will not adjust the speed. That's all in the foot and the machine. All right. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, and happy sewing and quilting. Thanks.